What's going on guys? Jonathan Chow with Las Vegas Sotheby's. Today we are inside the ridges of Summerlin, Las Vegas. The ridges is a coveted community that's located on the west side of the valley comprised of 14 subdivisions. Of the 14, nine of them are all custom homes. The other five of them are either semi-custom or track homes built by builders with specific specs of you just get to pick. But this one, is a complete custom home brought to you by our listing agent, Lisa Lopez of Las Vegas Sotheby's. She has this beautiful listing that's not on the market yet, but you get to see it today. So before we go, in, go inside, I wanna show you some of the finishes on the exterior. Now, walking through this stone archway, you almost know what you're about to enter is going to impress you, right? And the exterior walls, these white stacking stones are actually marble. And you'll see some of this throughout the rest of the house as well as the backyard finish. And this is a part of what I'm most impressed with is how much detail was put into this home. The owner did the renovation work not too long ago and spent about a million dollars in renovation. And every detail is done so well that you can't even tell. You thought that this was you know, built exactly the way it was, but in fact, they added their own touches and I can't wait to show it to you guys. So let's go check it out. So my favorite place in every home is the kitchen. So a few things that I always generally notice is the counter. What's so important about the counter? This is usually where you host all your friends and family and you come here and you have a good time, you're prepping the food. But what is very special about this, I can't get my hands off of it. This is a leathered Calcutta marble. Okay, so why they call it leather is because they have a different texture to it. Not only does it feel different, it's also pretty stain resistant compared to your polished marble. And we talked about it previously, the, the thickness of each counter, this miter technology where they use to make the counter space a lot thicker than it really is. But you will see the actual thickness of these stone can be seen right here in the sink, okay? And another piece of uniqueness of this counter is it's a monoblock uh, marble stone where there is no seam in between. To create this big surface, it's just one big slab of marble. The stainless steel appliance, of course, the red knobs, the, the very iconic wolf uh, red knobs that makes me want to just go home and paint my knobs red and call it a day. You have your pot filler here, so when you have to make your pasta or noodles like I do, it's a lot easier than having to carry that all the way from the sink. And another thing you might notice, it's a very clean backsplash. There is no electrical outlet. It's all hidden beneath the counters where there's strips of electrical you can just plug in so you can see it's just that clean finish, the minimalistic vibe in this home, which I absolutely love. Over here, we got the G monogram giant refrigerator. Now, why do these mansions always have giant refrigerators? Well, if you go to the garage right now, I guarantee you, you won't see a secondary fridge in there. You know, those old white refrigerators that people put in their garage because they don't have enough space. This is a 6,000 square foot home. So the people that live here, there's either plenty of mouths to feed or they just, you know, they expect the finer things in life that re requires a, a bigger fridge to store. So that's all it is. But who doesn't want a giant fridge, right? Coming to the dining area, I love how it's framed in in this perfect square. Now, some spaces could feel a little claustrophobic when it's framed in this way, but when you add additional panels of window like the way they did here, that really opens up the entire space. And this round table with a round fixture in a square space just works. It just balances out so well. You also have access to the backyard, which will take you to the outdoor kitchen. We'll show you that in a little bit. And we're gonna come and see the highlight of the space, which is your family room. The fireplace is unique, why is that? Because when the owner was ha painting her vision of this place, she really liked this white brick wall that she saw around a fireplace in a restaurant in LA. But her designer was against it. She said, no, it's never gonna work, it doesn't, it doesn't go with this. But she insisted. 
And I think she was right, because this is my favorite spot. Okay, the mantle, this touch of wood, really brings some warmth to the house, where it's mostly just clean, white light colors. A bit of this kind of earthy tone really just completes that place where it doesn't feel too sterile. This is a fire, a gas fireplace, not a typical electric fireplace, but I still, something about real fire just makes you feel warm and fuzzy inside. Okay, if you look up, you'll see there's coffered ceilings, but what's unique about these is they actually embed with sound deadening panels. So when you think of a big space like this and there's hard surface all around, you typically hear a lot of echo, 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 right? But you don't hear it here because they added sound deadening panels to take that echo away and it actually makes the space feel that much more cozy. There's something about it. I don't know what it is. This is the bar. What I love about this bar is it has an indoor outdoor setting. You can open these art, uh, these windows up. Uh, this is a pocket window, by the way. What a pocket window is, is these uh, compartments where you can stack the glass panels in so it's not in the way. And this can open all the way back here. And now it's happy hour. You can have your friends over. You can mix your favorite cocktail, which they have quite the selection here. And you can just mingle, right? You have your friends out there, they're barbecuing, you have a pool party, and you want to grab a drink, kind of go in and out. This is the perfect space for it. And check out the counters. It matches the kitchen. Le leather Calcutta marble. It's a mouthful, but it's great. It is a wet bar, so you can do all your prep work here as well. And again, they added a touch of wood. This is an oak waterfall counter here that's extended from the bar. I just love it. I think they do such a good job adding elements that comp complements the living space they have. I can't get my eyes off of this because this is a beautiful centerpiece of a, uh, a wine cellar that they have. These cables that are holding up wine bottles. It's temperature and moisture controlled. So if you have you know, a, a, a collect, collection of wine, this is a safe place to put it. Of course, being Asian, I can't help it, but every time I see multiple items, I just want to count. So I'm here looking at these wine bottles and I'm thinking, I'm thinking, holds about 500 bottles of wine. It's 24 by 20, right? That, that sounds about right. But this is the trophy room. This is the centerpiece of the house. This is what is gonna make that impression when you invite your guests over. All right, now we are outdoors. I was in and now we're out through these sliders, stacking sliders that opens up and connects the indoor outdoor living space. This right here just makes you wanna go pick your favorite bottle of wine, have a cigar, your good friend sitting right across, and just have one of those very memorable conversations, right? Talk about life, talk about goals, your family. This is what I think of when I'm sitting here. This wall, when I first got here, I thought they were made with bamboos. Like they look like bamboos stacking on top of each other, right? The Asian part of me kicks in again, I don't know why. But turns out this is compressed lava rock. Okay, they create these slabs of uh, thin slabs of rock, lava and they lava rock and then they stack them together to create this this visual impression of, of kind of like that earthy feel with these stacking branches is what I thought it was. Now we're completely outside. It's 34 degrees in Las Vegas. It's cold as heck as you can imagine why I'm rocking this turtleneck but there's a fireplace almost every corner you go to. The outdoor kitchen is a highlight. The owner actually came in and redid this outdoor kitchen. Before, there were perforated roof, so when it rains, you're kind of screwed. Not that it rains a lot here in Vegas, but it's always on that day that you have a big barbecue that you want to you know, invite a bunch of people to and it starts to rain. So they completely stuccoed the ceiling and the roof and made it a kind of a, a covered area. There's a TV there. There's barbecue, fridges, wine fridge, etc. It really is a place is where you want to host your friends right before you jump onto that water slide and slide down to this 10 foot deep pool. If it wasn't middle of winter here in Las Vegas, I'd be in my swimsuits and standing here getting ready to make you my infamous chow margarita. But this is your outdoor kitchen. Okay, this is something that, you know, in Las Vegas, very, very common and popular for people to utilize because outdoor is 
the season is usually great for all outdoor activities. Now, in the rare occasions of it being so cold, the owner thought about that too and added these infrared heaters throughout this covered outdoor kitchen. All right, through the French door brings us to the primary bedroom. This room, what stands out to me the most is all the different elements. I see a fireplace in the middle of the room. I see marble stones kind of stacked up towards the center. And then you have these herringbone lava rock finishes around the edge. You got real oak flooring, which is not very common anymore in these modern homes, but this feels nice and warm. Like you want to go to bed in a room like this because it just feels cozy. It just feels like you can relax and you can zen out in a place like this. Stacking doors also take you outside to your backyard. There's a couple things I want to highlight. The shower, the steam shower is finished with the Calcutta marble that you saw in the kitchen and most of the counter spaces. They have the entire shower lined with the same marble. So it complements it, it kind of ties in the whole living space in the house all together. And while you're taking a bath, you have a private Zen garden that you can stare out of. It's quite unique. I mean, it's relaxing. You feel like you're in Bali looking out at the rainforest while you take this delicious bubble bath, isn't it? All right, now that we're upstairs, this is where most of the bedrooms are. So this home has five bedrooms and uh, four of them are up here with the primary being down. You got additional living space up here with the loft. What's really unique is the owner transformed this outdoor place into a indoor place. So this used to be a balcony. Okay, it was covered. It is a covered balcony, but imagine these walls were stucco. There was a fireplace here, but this is supposed to be a place where you have kind of your outdoor, outdoor furniture and enjoy, but they ended up enclosing the space, finishing the walls to match the interior, kept the fireplace, which is smart, and turned it into a workout area. This is just an example of what each room looks like upstairs. Now there are four bedrooms up. Each room is an ensuite. What an ensuite means is it equips with a three quarters bath or full bath. And this one also has a walk-in closet in every single room. Each one of these bathrooms are different, are finished differently as well. So whoever's living here can pick which one they feel they vibe with the best. Now that concludes today of the tour with 20 Skybird Court here in ridges of Summerlin, Las Vegas. This is a 6,000 square foot home with five bedrooms two offices and seven baths, currently listed at $5 million and is not even on the market. You got to see this exclusively and that's just for you, my subscribers. So keep subscribing to my video. I have more content for you guys to see. See you next time.